you want to know how I made enough money to afford this house by doing pretty much nothing, the real secret here is to stop selling your time for money and to start building assets as well. But before we get started, I have a confession to make. This is not my house. In fact, this is not a house. It's a green screen. Yeah, I'm here in the office using a green screen to fool all of you into thinking that I've built or bought the perfect house. this amazing luxurious place that you all probably want because the image of us living in a beautiful place is very tempting isn't it it is to me at least and so this just goes to show how many people fool us by adding cars that they don't own houses that they don't own whatever it is a green screen or renting something so don't trust anything you see just because you see someone sitting in a hammock on the beach or in a beautiful marble white house like kim kardashian that doesn't mean that this is their house. That doesn't mean that they're super rich. Can you throw it away, Ali? Thank you. Where were we? This just goes to show that not everyone you see in a beautiful marble Kim Kardashian style home or in a Tesla or a Lamborghini or whatever fancy car you like, they don't necessarily have this as their property, they don't necessarily have this much money. They might be fooling you and you need to activate some critical thinking to make sure you're not that easily fooled into believing people who might not really know what you're talking about. I know that sometimes I'm super surprised by some YouTubers using green screen in places where I thought they were actually visiting. Have you ever been super surprised by someone using a green screen or any other method to kind of fool you into thinking they know more than they do? Let us know in the comments. But back to the problem at hand, we are not here to talk about green screens, even though it is a fascinating subject. We are here to talk about how to make money doing nothing. And while this sounds like a buzzword, like a clickbaity title, it is actually possible. You can create money doing nothing if you create assets rather than just selling your time for money. Now, it's not a, oh, I'm gonna sign up to this website and voila, I'm making money doing nothing. It's not like that. There is a system here. There's a lot of initial work that comes into building these kind of assets. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Most of the people who start off building assets so that they can live off of the money that the assets create doing nothing all day, end up making building these assets their lifestyle because you just tend to fall in love with what you do or maybe you fall in love with the money. Either way, you usually don't really want to just stop working. You usually want to feel like there's a purpose to what you're doing. So you might want to make money doing nothing now, but when you start the ball rolling, you might change your mind. Keep that in mind. So what are assets and how do we build them? When people hear the word asset, they think about real estate or at least that's what I used to think about when I heard this word. Because we think about my asset is my home or my apartment and I can either live there or rent it and make money off of renting this asset. That is very true. That is a very specific type of asset that you can create. It has a lot of benefits. It's physical in the real world. Its value would usually be very high. And also a house is something that we all have an emotional attachment to. This is why I showed you me living in a fancy house when we first started because this emotional attachment is kind of a part of our identity where we live what we do and this makes the value of the home even greater than it actually is in the real world so it has a lot of benefits but it has one major drawback and that is the price starting off with building or buying your very first house or apartment is very expensive and a lot of us I'm guessing if you're watching this video you don't necessarily have the money to buy one right now you could get a mortgage or a loan from the bank to actually buy your house but then you will owe the bank the monthly income that you get for this house meaning if you now have renters who pay you monthly you're not making any money out of it the bank is and you know normal mortgages take up to 20 30 years to return which means you're not getting any profits off of your investment this is going to be an investment that maybe your kids can profit off of we don't want that we want assets that we can make a profit off of quickly so now let's get into it and talk about five ways that you can create digital assets that make you money while you do nothing sleep travel whatever you want who am i what who franklin oh i'm franklin <laughs> 
I love Franklin. He's my best friend, especially when he comes in multiple. Number one and the most obvious one is to start a business. Now your business can be in any niche that you want. It can be a consulting business, it can be a SaaS business, a software business, a services business. Whatever it is, it will require a lot of pile work on your end to establish it, to get customers, to get customer support, to market it, etc, etc. But once you have some customers and you have enough income, you can start bringing in people to do the work for you. So you will bring in employees to slowly start filling up the gaps from the jobs that you've been doing up until now. And theoretically, you could just lay back at some point and let them do all the work while you live your life. Yeah, you might need to work a few hours a week just to make sure that everything is okay, stay in touch with your employees, make sure that the business is going where you want it to. That is possible, especially if you are creating a small business, you don't have grand aspirations, you just want something that makes you money. You could also bring in a CEO that will manage it for you and you will only be the shareholder who makes money completely passively out of this business. As I warned you in the beginning, when you will create your own business, this is your baby. You don't want to completely disconnect yourself from it. You will be emotionally attached to it and you will want to continue working on it. But then again, maybe I'm wrong and maybe you're one of those people who's like, okay, I've got this, I'm moving on, I don't wanna work on it anymore. This is a really good way to create sustainable passive income. The second way is to invest. You can take your existing money and invest it in the stock market, in crypto, in whatever field you believe in. So while crypto is a really exciting new field that you can make a lot of money off of, you can also lose a lot of money from it. So I wouldn't necessarily put all of my life savings there because it is still very volatile but I would invest in it, at least a little bit. But the type of investing that I wanna talk about is actually stock market investing. When you buy stocks, you actually buy a small, tiny little percentage of the company. And in exchange for that, you get the profits when the company grows and you lose money if the company value decreases. So investing in stocks is still dangerous. You might lose the money, which is why you have to diversify your portfolio. You don't only invest in one, two or three companies. You invest in as many as you can. I think everyone should be investing in the stock market. If you have $100 a month to put into the stock market, do it now. You might not become rich from this now. You might not get passive income from the stock market right this moment. But in 20 years, 30 years, when you retire, you will thank yourself for investing in your future. And $100 a month is not a lot. If you can do more, do more. So the stock market is a passive income building for the future. I mean, if you invest a lot of money, you might get a lot of returns in the short term, but the stock market is a long-term game. So if you put money there, just put it away, forget about it and wait for future profits. The third option is to start a blog. This is very similar to starting a business, but you don't need to create a whole operation, a product, etc. If you like writing, if you have a niche that you are passionate about, start a blog writing about it. Post one to two articles a week, do some SEO optimization, and slowly see your blog grows. Now, this is going to take a while. This is not a two days thing. This is not even one month. Work. This is continuous work on a period of a few months and if you do your job correctly and you get your blog to rank high on SEO, you're gonna start getting more and more traffic into your blog. When you have enough traffic, enough visitors in your blog, you can start monetizing it and making money out of it. And I'll let you in on a little secret. We are actually going to be releasing a video talking all about how to create and monetize your very own blog. So if you wanna watch it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes out. Now, a blog is not passive, especially if you're posting once or twice a week. But once you're making money out of this blog, you can actually hire a good writer off of Upwork or Fiverr and pay them to write your articles. And if you continue making more and more money, you can hire more and more writers and make sure to publish more on your blog, i.e. make more money out of it. So this is an example of how you keep the ball rolling. Once you start making money out of the asset, you can grow the asset and make more money out of it. Number four is affiliate marketing. You can get into affiliate marketing to start generating money. 
Affiliate marketing is not as easy as a lot of gurus would like you to think. It does require some work. You have to get into the niche that you want to sell in. You have to have a name for yourself so that people trust you and actually use your recommendation. You have to learn about marketing. Being an affiliate marketer is being a marketer. The only difference is that instead of marketing your own product, you're marketing someone else's product. The downside of that is that you're only getting a small cut out of the product worth, the payment that the customer made. But the upside is that you don't have to deal with the product, with the business, with customer support, etc. Once the transaction is over, your role is over and you got your cut. So it is a really good option to get into, but just keep in mind that all the marketing that you would have to do for your own business, you would have to do as an affiliate marketer. If you've built your affiliate marketing system, then you can delegate it to someone again off of Fiverr or Upwork to do the work for you and the money goes in to you. Or if you did it well enough, it might just sit there passively and generate money without you having to do any extra work. But like I said, there is an initial work investment included in any kind of passive income. Fifth way to create your very own passive income is to do domain flipping. Domains are pretty much the real estate of the internet. A domain is your address, your home address. Now, if you've bought a domain that has potential as far as search terms or maybe the intent behind it, then you can create a very simple website around this domain increase its value and then sell it. Let me give you an example. Let's say you purchased the domain Mako's Calculator. You can create a very, very simple Mako's Calculator, put it up on this domain and get some search traffic in there. You can then add Google AdSense and other monetization options. And once this domain increases in value, you can sell it for a much higher price than you originally bought it for. Another way to do that is instead of selling, to hold on to this domain and maybe reach out to some fitness influencers and offer to be an affiliate for them and market them for your domain. Basically, domain flipping kind of includes all of the things we've talked about so far. You are creating a digital asset on your domain. What is this asset going to be exactly? That's kind of up to you and up to the domain that you purchase. It's kind of like home flipping for those people who buy cheap homes and renovate them and then sell them for an expensive price but with domains which make it so much more affordable if you don't have the money to buy an actual house and renovate it. So if you find any of these tactics interesting but you want more practical advice on how to do it, my brother Eric created a domain flipping video. You can watch it here. I think you'll find it very valuable. And if you want to watch something else, this is what YouTube think that you should watch. Try it out. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day doing nothing while making money in my beautiful white home. Dollar, 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 dollar. <laughs> dollar beer, dollar beer.